When you say the girls, you mean just us, right? Yes. Us? The sister circle? Right. I mean, but, you know, some of the members think that the sister circle is open to new members. Oh, are we talking about she who shall not be named? Well, come on, Karen. And what's wrong with Fatima? Fatima! Hi! Hey. Uh, thanks for coming. I hope it's okay that I came. Thank you. Absolutely. The more the merrier. <laughs> You know, what's pretty crazy about the uh, mid-season finale is that most of the debate and discussion that I've seen in regards to the episode drama pertain more to the invitation that Danny extended to Fatima to the mocktail party than the DNA. I think at this point, I mean, there really is nothing left to say. The DNA results have been revealed and Zach is the father of one of the twins. So at this point, what else is there to say? You know, until we find out who the other baby daddy is. And it seems painfully obvious that Aaron is the baby daddy. And then we'll just have to wait and see what the character's um, reaction to that news is. But I wanted to focus on the question that a few people have, you know, um, mentioned in the comments of post. I've, I, I've posted a lot in the sister Facebook group on Twitter and on Instagram. And it has to do with Sabrina. And some people have mentioned that, well, you know, Danny's in the wrong because Sabrina didn't invite Fatima. You know, it's just like Karen bringing Pam. Karen brought Pam. Sabrina didn't invite Pam. But I think the number one question, which is the title of this video, was Sabrina going to invite Fatima to the mocktail party? Was Sabrina going to invite Fatima to the mocktail party? Honestly, and I've seen several people say this and I have to agree. I do not think Sabrina was initially going to invite her. And if you go to the reaction, basically when Danny had shown up to the uh, juice bar, Sabrina was already there with a rich. So once Sabrina and Danny were sitting down, when Fatima came through the door, Sabrina had genuine surprise in her voice when Fatima came in. So that kind of confirms that Sabrina did not contact Fatima about the party. So you got to go back to towards the beginning of the episode when Sabrina called Karen telling her about the mocktail. Sabrina said, oh, well, I'm going to message the other girls to let her know, uh, to let them know. And that's when Karen all of a sudden mentioned, um, you know, when you say the girls, you mean just us because there are other members of the sister circle that think we're extending our membership. Now, if we go further back into the season, I want to say episode two or three, I forgot the exact episode, but it was the episode where the girls have their, uh, boozy brunch and Fatima was in attendance. And then when she got back, Zach was like, oh, so how was brunch? And do you think the only reason they invited you was because Karen said she couldn't come? Which somewhat implies that there have been a number of other occasions over the past three months where Andy, Sabrina, and Danny have called up Fatima to hang out with them because for whatever reason, Karen wasn't available. Maybe she had a doctor's appointment for the baby. Maybe she was just too busy working on a salon. Or, you know, something to that effect. So, I am willing to believe that Sabrina was initially only going to invite Karen, Andy, and Danny to this um, mocktail party. But, the thing is, it's only a theory. Now, granted, I did give you some pretty solid evidence based off dialogues and scenes from previous episodes. But... We will never know what the initial intention was because India comes in as Sabrina is discussing things with Karen because, you know, even though Karen said no Fatima, Sabrina kind of spoke like, wait, so what's wrong with Fatima's? And then that's when Karen went on her, oh, you're against me, Spiels. Like first it was Andy, then it was Fatima. Now it's you. Everybody's, you know, just enamored by the spell of Fatima. It's like, what's so great about her? And Sabrina had no problems like, well, well, what's the problem with Fatima, Karen? The more the merrier, you know, but ironically enough, that's the same thing she said when Fatima came in because Fatima was like, I hope it isn't a problem that I came. Oh, no, girl, the more the merrier. Come on, let's have some fun. 
So, yeah, I, I don't think that Sabrina reached out because remember, not long after she got off the phone with um, Sabrina, that's when Karen called Danny. Remembered, remember, Sabrina told Karen, I'm going to message the other girls. Karen was the one who called Danny explaining the mocktail party plan. But then it's just the uh, girls only No, Fatima. That wasn't your call. That was not Karen's call to make because this was Sabrina's event. Now, Sabrina, it's up to her as to whether or not she was going to contact Fatima about the party, which, again, based on previous evidence, I don't think she would have. Because keep in mind, when Sabrina had that little intimate get together at her apartment a few episodes ago, it was just her, Andy, Danny and then Karen. And similar and similar to the event at Sabrina's. Karen came in and just changed the entire vibe. She's like, oh, what's this finger food crap? Okay, let's order some real food. Oh, uh, yeah, Sabrina, you got it? Yeah, you'll pay for it. She just came in and took over the entire event. The same thing kind of happened here where she took it upon herself to call another intendi uh, attendee, Danny, and then delegate to her, oh, well, you can't invite Fatima. It's just for the girls. And then that's when Danny was like, no, you're not going to tell me or any of the other sisters what to do. And then, you know, that led to the bickering back and forth when um, Karen mentioned Tony's ex-wife and Preston's wife. And then, you know, from there, Danny invited Fatima. And then, of course, you had Karen inviting Pam, which, again, I mean, even though Fatima is the substitute sister on the bench and has hung out with the group before, Karen, I mean, this this literally reminded me of... Uh, Peppermint Patty from the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving where she called up Charlie Brown or Chuck. It's like, hey, Chuck, you know, it's Thanksgiving, Chuck. And, you know, my parents um, are, are out of town. I forgot what she said. Something to the effect of, yeah, my parents. And I'm thinking like, wait, that doesn't make sense. I think she said her parents are out of town. But basically, she invited herself over to Charlie Brown's house for, you know, Thanksgiving dinner. Then she invited Marcy and then she invited Franklin. So she basically rolled up with two extra people plus herself to an event that didn't exist all because she wanted to take over. And it's just like, that's Karen. It's like, oh, I'm going to invite Pam just because, you know, oh, I want to, you know, I'm going to this uh, event with all these backstabbing friends. So I'm going to go too. So it's just weird to me that that's how things went down because Karen decided to take it upon herself to contact um, Danny. You know, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that she didn't call Andy. You would think that Karen would do that. I, I guess maybe she thought Danny was the most rebellious. And if there was anybody that would invite Fatima, it would be her. But then again, you it's the argument of what about, um, what about Andy? Because Andy wasn't shown on screen being contacted about the, about the uh, mocktail party. But when Andy showed up, she was genuinely surprised that Fatima was there. And Fatima, you know, mentioned like with everything going on at the office, you know, with Marie and Hayden, she just didn't have a chance to mention that, oh, well, you know, Danny invited me. Plus, she did mention uh, when Andy was like, wait, we could have just rode together. We'll see, you know, uh, in case some drama pops off. I just want to leave, you know, so I don't want to ruin the dynamic if, you know, Karen comes in with some BS. But even before that, you have Zach who brought Fatima lunch. And, you know, when Danny made the call, but, you know, Zach was kind of pushing Fatima to go to the event because, again, she didn't want to go because she knew she already knew what it was in regards to like, look, if Karen's there and I'm there, it's just going to be some BS and I don't want to deal with that. But Zach, I mean, even Fatima pointed out his, you know, optimism, but based on previous seasons, it's just like, I don't really see what makes you think this time around things are going to be better um, with me being around Karen. And Zach did make a good point. It's like, you know, because Fatima was like, well, you're the one that tries to keep like 50,000 feet between me and Karen at all times. And how's that working out? Well, while Zach makes a valid point, Karen's the one who always pops up at the house. And well, Fatima decided to come to the hospital for the uh, DNA stuff. And I don't know. It just seems like it just seems like people 
are making this weird argument about, yeah, you know what? Karen's right because Fatima's trying to steal her life. And it's like, no, she's not. All the sisters have gravitated towards her, even Karen in season two. Everybody was getting along with Fatima until the finale when it was discovered that Zach had just, you know, banged Karen and now he's seeing Fatima, you know, with the grocery store stuff. So it's just weird to me that um people are looking at Fatima like she's the problem when she was the one who was actively avoiding dealing with the drama. Danny's like, girl, it's OK, you should go. And she's like, I'll think about it. And then Zach was like, look, I mean, y'all just share friends and y'all are going to, you know, eventually get close, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that's easy for Zach to say, but the thing is, he's not the one who's constantly being disrespected by Karen. Well, I mean, she does disrespect him by coming over, but that, you know, then there's the argument about, well, Zach doesn't set boundaries, yada, yada, yada. But he's not the one constantly being called out of his name and has to remain cool. I mean, yeah, he has to keep his cool, but, you know, he's not as violent as Fatima <laughs> you know, tends to be, but you know, Fatima isn't the one that has to just sit there and let Karen talk crazy to her. And, you know, because she's pregnant, I mean, it really makes you wonder what's going to happen when the baby's born. But now knowing that Zach is the father of one, it's like, eh, what can you do? But it just seems weird to me that, um, everybody's like, Fatima, go, come on, Fatima, it's going to be fun. Then when she goes, that's when the drama starts when Karen shows up. Now, you could argue that, you know, I made a separate video about, oh, that uh, one comment that Fatima made about the paternity of the kids. It's like um, that was shade. But then again, when you look at everything Karen had done up until that point or said to her, Fatima's one little snarky remark is a drop in the bucket. See, this is one of the few times I'm on the side of people who are like, yeah, Fatima wasn't out of pocket because Karen did so many things before this. You know, like when it came to me being on the opposing side of agreeing with Fatima busting in the door of Karen's apartment without knocking or anything. She just walked on up in there. And I said, yeah, I don't think that was right. Well, Jeremy, what about all the times Karen goes over to the house unannounced? Yeah, that is true. She did that many times and it's wrong, but that still doesn't justify Fatima going into her apartment like that. But when it comes to this situation, yeah, one little snarky m remark versus being called a bitch like eight times at the uh, mocktail. Yeah, I don't think Fatima is out of pocket. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I don't think Sabrina was initially going to invite Fatima to the mocktail. That's what I think. Now, you could argue back and forth about who was right, who was wrong. Danny has every right to invite Fatima. No, Danny was being messy, so she invited Fatima just because it was her way of proving to Karen she can't tell her what to do. And yeah, I still wonder why in the world did Karen not contact Andy? I mean, maybe she just knew Andy would not do that to avoid drama. I, I don't know. I feel like that's an even bigger question, you know? Other than would Sabrina have in, was a, Sabrina originally going to invite Fatima to the mocktail or why didn't Karen contact Andy? It's one of those things. So um, with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.